How many of you have gone for meetings and saw a very powerful man of God call somebody out by the spirit of prophecy and give the person fantastic word about God's intention about the person's life and now that God is going to do amazing things through the person and you were there and it looked like God was quiet and you wish that it was you. Raise your hand. Me too. As they were giving the person the word of prophecy, it looked like that person is the only one with destiny and you were wondering, what did I come with? How many of you are here that up till now, that kind of situation has never happened in your life? See now, raise your hand. Me too. This is the wisdom of God. If you pick a David and pour the oil on him, even the devil knows a king is rising. But when God wants to manifest his complicated wisdom, he will refuse to anoint the David. Samuel will come and will not see him. In the complicated wisdom of God, he may lead you in a direction that it doesn't matter how sharp the prophet is, nobody will pick your destiny. Why? Because the path required for you is the path of faith where you will have to go through the thorns and be rugged. Sometimes prophecy in the open is the exposure of the intention. When he wants to reveal what is complicated, he hides it. When he hides it, the person may look miserable on earth, but it's wonder in heaven. Everybody will look at this person and say, why is your life like this? Though obedient, faithful, submitted to the plan of God, everything others can boast of, he will not have. This man is only a wonder in one realm. Heaven. The Bible says, as the heaven is higher than the earth, so is my ways higher than, meaning that when you look at a man that God is eating in his wisdom, you cannot conclude based on the way he's dressed. As a matter of fact, in the pattern of God,